सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट पी एच ए विच इज पॉली हाइड्रोक्सी अल्कोनेट्स पी एच ए विच इज पॉली हाइड्रोक्सी अल्कोनेट्स आर लीनियर पॉली ईस्टर एंड दीज आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन नेचर बाय बैक्टीरियल फर्मेंटेशन ऑफ शुगर्स एंड लिपिड्स एंड दिस पी एच ए आफ्टर द फर्मेंटेशन ऑफ शुगर्स एंड लिपिड्स गेट एक्यूमुलेटेड इन द बैक्टीरियल सेल and are stored as energy or reserved food material so basically the bacteria produce pha to store it as a carbon or energy more than 100 different types of polyhydroxy alkonic acid have been already detected as a constituent of the bacterial polyester these polyhydroxy alkanes are a biodegradable polymer material accumulated in numerous mass under unbalanced growth condition means when the bacteria gets unbalanced growth condition means there are less nutrients or there is starvation or dryness not moisture available uh, in the media or in the soil so these uh, bacteria what they do is they accumulate the ph a inside themselves uh, as a stored or reserved food material in industrial production pha is extracted and purified from the bacteria by optimizing the condition after the fermentation of sugars and lipids pha is more ductile and less elastic than other plastics available in the market they can be either thermoplastic or elastomeric plastic thermoplastic means that they can be moldable at that particular temperature or in between that particular temperature pha has the melting point ranging from 40 to 180 degree celsius the mechanical and the biochemical compatibility of polyhydroxy alkanoate can be changed by blending or modifying the surface of pha with the help of other polymeric enzyme that can make PHA a, a stronger a mechanically stronger bioplastic on an industrial scale the PHB is produced by using alkalogens so the alkalogens are the gram negative aerobic rods the bacteria used for PHB production are uh, cupridinin nicator bacillus subtilis alkalogen lattice and aeruminous hydrophila in the industry a culture of microorganism is placed in a suitable media which consists of all the essential nutrients which are required for the bacterial growth this media consists all the essential nutrients like carbon nitrogen certain vitamins zinc sulfur phosphorus and some salts and also some trace elements once the bacteria once the culture of organism reaches to a substantial level means the large number of bacteria are grown the media composition is changed this media is removed the the first media is removed and the another media is added which consists of less nutrients as compared to the first media which typically forces the organism to produce pha inside the cell now we will see the pathway which the bacteria typically perform to uh, to form pha inside the cell so there are three main enzyme important enzyme in the biosynthesis of pha the first is beta thioketolase which is abbreviated as phaa the second is acetoacetyl coa which is abbreviated as phab and the third is pha synthase which is abbreviated as phac so now we will see how the sugars and the fatty acid present in the media are uh, fermented and pha is produced inside the cell so the sugars present in the media so the sugar are metabol uh, the sugar are taken up by the bacteria and the first cycle which is performed for the uh, it is glycolysis from the glycolysis we get acetyl coa then the pha a enzyme which is 
ketothiolase acts over here to give acetyl acetoacetyl coa then the pha b enzyme which is acetoacetyl coa reductase acts over here and gives 3 hydroxyl butyl coa the third enzyme which is pha synthase catalyzes this reaction further to give short chain length of pha so this is how we get uh, pha from the sugars from the fermentation of uh, from the metabolism of sugars so the second is fatty acid metabolism which is performed by uh, which is typically performed in the beta oxidation pathway where the beta oxidation takes place on the carbon uh, beta carbon okay so first the acetyl coa is converted into an oil coa and then we get two molecules of hydroxyl acetyl coa so the first molecule uh, with the action of pha synthase enzyme produce medium chain length of pha and the second molecules goes uh, to uh, goes and give three keto acyl coa so which gives two acetyl coa molecules this three, uh, three keto acyl coa when the enzyme fabg acts over here gave hydroxy acetyl coa which then the action of enzyme pha synthase gave medium and short chain length of ph here we have seen how the bacteria perform the pathway to synthesize pha the yield of pha obtained from the intracellular granule inclusion can be as high as 80 percent of organisms dry weight the biosynthesis is caused by certain deficiency condition of uh, for example macro elements phosphor nitrogen oxygen and other trace elements and also when there is excess supply of carbon source these pha from the bacterial cell are extracted and purified by optimizing the conditions the properties of pha polyhydroxy alkanoates are endless the few i'll be listing today are that first they are thermoplastic so they can be molded in between the temperature of 40 to 180 degrees celsius second they are ductile third they are less elastic fourth they are uv staple which make them more uh, more sustainable fifth that they are soluble in halogenated solvents like chloroform the sixth which is very important that they are biodegradable so they don't cause any harm to the environment as well as the organisms and anim uh, as well as the animals